Hello everyone, it's Joelle, and welcome to this 10-minute yoga practice to work against kyphosis or hunchback. We'll begin lying on our backs, pointing the toes, lengthening the legs, and reaching the arms up and overhead, resting the back of the hands to the floor. Begin taking some nice deep breaths here, reaching fingertips and toes in opposition, and just feeling the length of the spine pressing into your mat. And then keeping the toes pointed, begin to slide the backs of the hand down along the floor, bending at the elbows, and then straighten the arms once more. And take that movement a few more times with your breath, bending the elbows to cactus the arms, and then reaching back up overhead. And feel the back working here. And then take hold of opposite elbows, allowing the arms to rest alongside the ears. You might even close the eyes here. Notice any sensations, your knees stretching or strengthening. And let's release. We'll simply roll over onto our stomachs now, extending the right arm straight out from the shoulder and press the left fingertips into the ground so that you can roll yourself over onto your right side, maybe setting the toes of the left foot down behind you. And just hold here for a breath. Wonderful. And then extending the left arm out from the shoulder, press the right fingertips into the mat and see if you can set those right toes down behind your left leg as you roll onto the left side. You might notice that one side feels very different from another. On your next exhale, let's release and come towards a sphinx pose, resting the forearms down to the mat, shining the heart forwards. And with your breath here, we'll flow through some cat cows. So inhaling to look up at the ceiling and then exhaling to round through the spine and maybe lifting the hip bones off the mat just an inch or two. So again, take this at the pace of your own breath a few more times, arching and rounding. Really looking to recruit those upper back muscles, working against those hunchbacks as we get stronger here. And as you finish up that next round of cat and cow, just hold your sphinx pose. Think about pulling the shoulder blades back behind you. A few deep breaths here. And let's press our way up to hands and knees, shaking it out a little bit, wagging your tail from side to side. And we'll step the hands just about a palm print forward, arch the back once more into cow pose. And keeping that arch, just start rocking the hips forwards and back now. So you're coming forwards towards a cobra position and then reaching those hips back in the direction of the heels, still keeping the spine arched. So this might be a really small movement, maybe rocking just a few inches forwards and back. Just looking to find some movement in the body in this arched position. And let's let that go. Walking the hands back underneath the shoulders to shake that tail out a few more times. And then come to stillness and reach the right arm up alongside the ear. Set it down and we'll switch sides. 
So reaching one arm straight out, biceps next to the ear, set it down, and then switch sides. Noticing if one side feels perhaps a little bit stronger, activating through those shoulder muscles, you can keep the gaze straight down at the mat. And now let's simply sit the hips back towards the heels, finding child's pose. Closing the eyes, coming back to your breath here. Releasing the lower spine. And lifting back up, we'll step the right foot forwards into a lunge, bringing both hands up onto your front knee. And you can either stay there or you might like to reach the arms up overhead as you engage through the back glutes to encourage the hips forward. Now, cactusing the arms in this front lunge, start twisting right to left. So keeping the elbows at the same height as the shoulders and simply rotating the upper body from one side to the other. Still keeping those upper back muscles nice and activated here. And we'll come back to center, reach the arms up. And then exhale to set the hands back down. Nicely done, not easy. Shake it out a little bit. And we'll try the other side. Stepping left foot forward into a lunge, squeeze the back glutes. And you can place the hands to the front knee or maybe reach them up towards the sky. arching just a little bit through the back as we cactus the arms and again begin to twist to one side and then to the other. Challenging our balance here, keep those glutes engaged. Just a little bit of movement through that spine and the waist. And then take one more. Coming back to center, reach the arms tall. And exhale, set the hands back down to the mat, finding hands and knees. Sitting back towards the heels and rolling the shoulders back. And sitting back on your heels, let's just take a few neck circles in one direction, taking it slow. And then reversing the direction of your circle. Just feeling out through the nooks and crannies of your neck. The more we can strengthen that upper spine, the more we can work against those hunchbacks that tend to develop as we get older. And once you've finished up your next circle, you can release that motion, roll the shoulders back. And let's now interlace the hands behind the back and reach the hands away from you in the direction of the mat as you perhaps take the gaze up towards the sky. So finding an opening again in that upper spine, lifting the heart. And on your next exhale, melting forwards back into a child's pose and lifting your clasped hands off of your hips. So it's as if you're reaching your clasped hands up and over behind you, opening up through that shoulder line. Breathing nice and deeply here. And then exhale to bring the hands back towards the hips. 
then sitting yourself up tall once more, we'll find a cross-legged seat, shaking it out a little bit side to side. And left hand onto your right knee, right hand behind the head, and twist to look up and over your right shoulder. And just hold here, maybe enjoying the stretch. And exhale to place right hand onto left knee. Inhale to arch the spine and exhale to curve through that upper back. So just a wave of breath here, cat and cow holding opposite knees. And letting that go, we'll try the other side. Right hand comes to the left knee, left hand behind the head, and twisting up to look over that left shoulder. And on your next exhale, the left hand can find the right knee. Then inhale to arch, exhale to round. Just moving a few times here with your breath. Noticing how you're feeling after all of this spine activation. Some wonderful strengthening moves here for the back today. As we let that go, shake it off. And let's inhale the arms up towards the sky and exhaling them down to heart center. And I do hope that these 10 minutes made you feel great in your body and mind. I'm so grateful that you joined me today. If you haven't already, please do make sure you are subscribed and you've clicked the notification bell so that we can practice together again soon. I will link to some related videos in the description box below, so make sure you check those out. And I wish you a wonderful rest of your day.